Once again, welcome back to our Sunday School Time. This morning, I am joined by our Nancy Franstall. Good morning, Nancy, and thanks for joining us. Well, thank you. I'm happy to be here. Last week, we talked about talents. So this morning, we get to hear a story called Sheep and Goats. That's right. Today's story, we're taught the importance for caring for one another. So let's jump right in. Jenna, read it for us. All righty. So I am reading it from our Spark Story Bible, and it's called Sheep and Goats. Jesus told his disciples they were like sheep when they cared for each other, and Jesus was their shepherd. They would be like goats. If they didn't listen and didn't care, he said, do you remember when you fed the woman who was hungry? Yes, they replied. Do you remember when you visited the old man in prison? He asked. Oh, yes. He was lonely, they answered. Do you remember when you gave clothing to the children who didn't have anything to wear? Jesus asked. Yes, they were very cold, they remembered. Every time you care for someone, it is like you're caring for me as well, Jesus explained. God will welcome you into the kingdom of heaven. The disciples wanted to be like sheep. They knew they would be welcome in heaven. Thanks, Jenna. So this story comes at a perfect time considering we are getting so close to Christmas and Thanksgiving. And what a better time I think it is to remind us of how important it is to care for one another. Yeah, we as Christians are taught to love one another and to take care of one another. Jesus gave his disciples examples of how they had cared for others. And he also said, every time you care for someone, it's like you're caring for me too. And he will welcome us into the kingdom of heaven. I've seen every single one of you helping others. It doesn't matter what your age is. You can care for someone else. That's right. And this is a perfect time to bring our craft today. You will be making a sheet. And in your packet, you will find a sheep's body with the head and the legs, and then you will have a bunch of cotton balls. And then what you'll do is you will cut out the body, glue it together, and then you'll glue the cotton balls onto the sheep's body. And then on the back, I want you to write how you can care for others. I am sure that you all will come up with some just amazing ideas. And please put your sheep up in throughout this holiday season. Try and do the, the thing that you put on the back of how you're gonna care. Try and do that at least once a week for someone in your family or for a complete stranger. That's a fun idea. Well, we hope you enjoy creating yours. Our time has come to an end already. And since you talked about talents last week, I would like to use one of my talents at the end of our time together and instead of a prayer, I was going to do a song that I wrote based on Romans 10 from the Bible. So I have my guitar handy. I can't wait to hear it. <laughs> Thank you for asking me to do this, Jenna. <clears throat> it's called Confess, Believe, and Share. with you. 
That was beautiful. You have been given such a wonderful talent, and I, I love that you share it with us. And I, I know I can speak for most, for all of us when I say we love hearing you sing. So thank you so much. Thank you. You're making me blush. <laughs> Good. <laughs> thank you very much. It was fun to be asked, and it was fun to share. Good. Well, thanks for joining me, Nancy, and I hope that I can get you to join me again sometime soon on these videos. I would love to. Thank you. And I hope that we can see all of you again next week. You guys have a great rest of your week.